I want to talk to you today about falling kilties or kilties following down, how to customize kilties. Uh, I decided I could separate this into five bullet points of explaining the problem, theories as to why it happened, solutions that I have seen, what I tried already that didn't work and what I'm doing right now that I expect is going to take care of my problem. So number one, explaining it, um, when I put them on, they look like this. The kilty goes across. This is where it's supposed to be. And then at some point while you're wearing them, maybe quickly, maybe it takes a while, the kilty ends up working itself down like this and I think it looks terrible I don't like it so I want to keep the kilty from from falling down like that um, why is it happening you know I don't know I've come up with a bunch of thoughts and I've written off a bunch of those thoughts about as quickly as I came up with them uh, first one is that maybe it has to do with height. Uh, all of my other ones are, are eight inches tall, and I've never had a problem with a kilty falling. And these are six inch, so it makes me wonder if maybe a six inch is more prone to doing it. I don't know. Um, I tried to research and find the problems that I have seen people have on, on Facebook and in forums, and I haven't really been able to find any of them. I don't know if they got deleted or if I'm just not using the right search words or what. So I didn't notice at the time what kind of configurations that these people were having that had the problem. So maybe they're all six inch. Somehow being a six inch helps push down the kilty. I wondered whether it was kilty height because I usually do a taller kilty than usual. But again, I don't see how that would be it because the kilty still goes reasonably high and I can't, I mean, higher would seem like it would help more. It doesn't seem like it could possibly help less. So I don't think that that's it. Um, I've wondered whether it's eyes versus hooks. These are eyes all the way up which I have never done before. So maybe hooks, you can tie them up tighter with the hooks uh, and that keeps the kilty in place. But very few people on a regular Pacific Northwest boot are gonna pick eyes all the way up. So I doubt that that's the problem either. I wondered whether it's the fact that my kilties are lined, which is uncommon. But I wrote that off just as quickly because all of my other ones are lined and none of my other ones have ever fallen down. So I don't think that that's a factor. And lastly, the leather type. This is a smooth leather. So it does seem like maybe it could aid in the kilty sliding down. But... I don't know, my, my green ones, if, if you've seen my video on the green ones that I own, that's a smooth leather. It seems like it's just as smooth and it's got a lined kilty, so it's smooth on the underside and that one has never fallen down at all. So again, I don't think that that's it, but those are the thoughts that I came up with. Um, when I have seen people on the internet come up with you know, trying to help people. The, there's been two solutions that I have seen offered. Um, one of them is to tie the kilty in in the second row instead of the first row. But it's not a solution that I want to use if I can avoid it because it has the lace going straight across in the open underneath here. And it's going to have the kilty going way too far up. And I just don't think it was going to look right. So I'm trying to avoid that. 
And the other solution was to do some funny stuff with the laces down here, crossing things, recrossing, looping, trying to, to lock everything into place. And I can see how it's probably going to work. But again, I don't think it's going to look good. And it's, I think it might wear out the laces faster. But at any rate, it's a choice that I want to avoid if I can. So what I came up with, the first thing that I tried I thought that, that maybe since they still need to be broken in, that if I lace if I lace them all up on a day that I'm gonna be working at the computer all day long, and then like so I'm not walking and I'm not like having the kilty sliding around, because uh, I I don't want to break it in in the wrong place. Because a, a kilty I mean, when you're when you're breaking in a kilty and it, you know, it, it gets lines and marks into it that's going to help it stay in the place where it belongs. Mm -hmm. And if, if I start breaking these things in and I start wearing this in where it shouldn't be, then it's going to fight me for the rest of its mm -hmm. life. So I want to train it properly to begin with in the right place. So I put them on. And then every 35, 45 minutes, I tightened the laces up and retied it. So I probably did that like 12 times throughout the day. And I thought that by then, with you know my foot heating up the leather and the leather stretching a little bit and retightening, that the kilty would finally stay in place. So after the work day, I went out to go for a walk was going to try to walk like two or three miles, but I got like five houses away before I noticed that the kilty had already fallen down. So I gave up on that and came home. So I was going to show me doing this, and because I can't hit pause on my camera while I'm recording and, and reposition, I decided that I'm going to do a hybrid version to, so that you could see it. So I've, I tightened this up and tied it as if it was on my foot. So we're just gonna act like it's on my foot. And then I took a metal, what is it, an awl, a scribe, and I went, I went three rows of laces up and I scribed a hole, uh, not a hole, but a, a a line into the leather on either side here and I wasn't planning on going further than this but I went ahead and went another three upwards and I did the same thing between this set of laces here so that I can cut slits in like some tennis shoes have so I can cut some slits in here to run the laces through to help keep the kilty where it belongs. And you can see here that, well, you probably can't see here. I don't know if the light's well enough, but this is one, two, three, and four. They're about a half an inch apart. So I'm gonna, cut a slit here I'm not gonna go too. I'm not gonna make the slit too tall because you can't uncut something so I'm gonna err on doing it too short here and if I need to cut a bigger slit later that I can do so if I need more space to get the laces through So, got my slits in there. And on the bottom side, even though I don't think it matters, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rough this up. Set a notch 
is it's not working as well as I had hoped. Get some sandpaper here. It doesn't look like it, but it is roughing it up a little bit. I might have to continue trying after we get off the camera. more help. While I'm at it, I did want this to be a little bit shorter. Um, and I didn't want, as pretty as this white stitching is, because of the design of the monkey boot and the whole uh, one piece fluid as, as it goes up, I didn't want the white line in there the tracting and it does go a little bit lower than I wanted but not much so I'm using this as a pattern and I'm gonna cut so that I make sure that I get the angle right and I'm gonna cut this off There we go, that's cut down. So that'll look a little bit better. So I'm gonna turn the, the camera off now and I'm gonna, I'm gonna lace this back into the boot. I'm gonna unlace this. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to this one as I did to this one and start breaking them in. So if you look through the comments, in a couple of days or a week or so I will post an update in the comments to let you know whether I fixed my problem or not um, I don't know how common of a problem this is I, I think I've only seen like three or four posts total regarding this issue and of course it has not been an issue for me on any of my other pairs but maybe it is a problem for people that just haven't bothered to ask the question and maybe they'll find this video in a, in a Google search or a YouTube search and it'll help them out so I hope you found this interesting maybe even helpful and as usual have a great day and God bless